Hey guys, I'm Alvar and welcome back to my channel. In a previous video, we saw how powerful Langchain can be in order to deal with large language models. And we also discussed about one of its very important features, which are the chains. We use the simple sequential chain model and we built an app on the top of it. So if you ever ask Siri or any other chatbot, mostly you will see, for example, if you ask uh, what is the temperature of this particular city and it gives you the output of it. And then if you ask what was the particular city I asked you about, it doesn't remember. So it doesn't remember the context. That is, it doesn't have a memory of the previous conversation. So it is stateless. That is what it's also mentioned in this uh, documentation that by default, the chains or the agents are stateless. That is where this memory, this particular module, the memory is very important and especially this conversational memory. So what are the key features of it? One of them is the buffer, other is a summary. So buffer is something where you're just passing a lot of n number of interaction or the context. The summary is at times it can summarize the buffer or the output which it has given. And at times it combines both the aspect of buffer and summary. That's a combination. So this is the feature which Langchain is in build providing us to deal with large language models. And trust me, this is one of the features. If you compare with my previous video where I built a simple uh, chatbot, that won't remember my previous question, but the chatbot which we'll build today, it remembers the context, it remembers my previous conversation, it remembers an n number of conversation, whatever the input I pass it to it. That is why it's very different from the traditional chatbots. So in today's video, we will use something called as entity memory. It's much more complex, you can say, but it's all same at the end of the day. It has its own memory. And that's why I call this particular app, which I have already built as a memory bot or not a chat bot. It's a memory bot. And this will be very helpful when you have, let's say you trained with a lot of data or your documents or your PDF files and you ask one question after other or if you just forget something you go back to the previous question it will remember so we'll ask question recently the gpt3 turbo model which is released by openai that's a model which we have so let's start conversation with this particular memory bot which i've already built so i'll say hi i am over and i'll just run this part i think it will also greet me back let's see what it replies to me and hello Avro, how can i assist you today so let's then ask it about uh I am from uh, India. Okay, let's see. Well, we just give it more of context that we can ask it back what or where I am from or what's my name. So it says that great to know you're from India. And now let me ask, uh, tell me the capital. Okay, so I'm expecting it remembers the previous conversation where he said I am from India. And the capital of India is New Delhi. So it remembers the previous conversation. Now I go back to the first conversation and I ask, what is my name and let's see if it remembers that my name which i have said already in the very beginning your name is avra as you mentioned earlier this is something which is very different from the traditional bots which we have built already and if you see it remembers the context and in today's video we will build a very similar bot by the way this bot has a lot of other features for example uh, we can create a new chat when i click this particular button it saves it as a conversation. So the whole conversation is saved out here. That's pretty cool, right? I mean, that's like kind of, you can say, a chat GPT style where it has all the conversation saved. And you can also actually download it. I, it was somewhere, once you finish the conversation, there was a download button. You can also change your models. As you can see, this time I used GPT 3.5 turbo model, which just recently came in. And you can change this particular prompt as well. We'll try to build this particular memory board. And so let's go to the coding section. So let's start writing the code. So I have already opened my Visual Studio code. You can open your favorite ID. Python script's name is app.py. And with this particular syntax, you can serve the Streamlit app in your local browser here. We need to import the necessary libraries. So what are the li libraries which we need? One of them is Streamlit, which we can inst pip install Streamlit. Same goes for Langchain, pip install Langchain. So we imported Streamlit, we imported uh, the chains, the conversation chain, that's very important. And also the conversation entity memory. So there are a number of conversation memory. Uh, if I just quickly go here, if I go to uh, like how to guides, you will see there are different types of uh, memories which Langchain provides us. One of them is a buffer, the buffer window, the summary, the summary entity memory. This is what we need. That's why I'm using this conversation entity memory. So the other next concept which you really need is the session state. Session state. Uh, I have also discussed in my previous videos about streaming session states. 
please check those video you'll get a lot of idea about when and where to use the session state so session state in streamlit especially it helps to cache your uh, data or cache your variable so in one session in one rerun it helps to save those variables so it doesn't go away it stays there so, so we need to first initialize few of these uh, session state variables and i'll just copy and paste from my previous code if you see so one of them is the generated one which is basically the output which we will uh, try to create from our model our conversation model also we'll store them as the past so that's why the uh, session state comes out here it saves the past input which it receives we'll also save the input here that's why we just keep this session state dot input it's basically it's basically a dictionary based and also we will have something called a stored session which uh, itself this conversation memory provides so we will save all them that's why we need this particular session state which is so that we don't lose during our uh, changes or rerunning of the script we need to define a function which helps to get the user input we'll write or wrap it up in a function format we open open a text input widget and we accept the user input from it and then we return whatever the input it is first thing which you will write is we give a title to it so it's streamly dot uh, title and we just say memory bot let's say like this perfect so once we have this the next part what we need is the api key that's pretty crucial and how you need to get the api key for that again i have a couple of videos a series of video and also a blog post where i said how we can fetch the api key from the open ai website so we just go there you create a new api key you can store the secret or you can just create a sidebar and inside that you give a text input box so basically your user can put their own api key so i just write api key here and the crucial part is it's like a password right it's a secret uh, password so let me save this app and since it's running it will load out here you see we have this api key text input widget and now if i write something it's like a password okay it doesn't show what the text input out there is the next part is if there is an api key then we start creating our model so if api then we write our so this is the first time we will create a open ai instance so here we import it from langchain.llms import open ai that's basically the open ai module and the open ai instance the object will create out here so how do we do that we say llm and equal to open ai and here you can put all these arguments so what are the arguments which we know one of them is a the temperature which kind of uh, controls the preciseness i discussed about it before as well please check them and the, the people who are new out here also subscribe to my channel because i am making a lot of videos about langchain open ai i am pretty sure it will be useful for you guys next thing is the open ai api i just say the api which the user will give here right so only if there is an api i create the instance and then we give a model name so technically we we allow the user to choose their own model so let's also put it here we can put it as a sidebar and as you see the models which we can provide is gpt 3.5 turbo this is a very newest one okay this is pretty powerful and it's very cheap we should use this gpt 3.5 turbo now uh, we see this this particular thing comes up okay we can the user can choose which particular model he or she wants to choose perfect so once we have this part next we can create our conversation memory so we create uh conversation uh, memory okay so this is the first time when we see the power of conversation memory but here comes the power of session state i will show how it works okay if entity memory let's say we call it as entity uh, memory we initialize for the first time we initialize the uh, entity memory in the session state we didn't do it before so if entity memory is not in st dot session state we create it we we initiate the for the first time st dot session state dot entity memory and here we say conversation entity memory and we just passed this large language model object which we created how we do that we say llm is llm and we also give uh, k which basically matters and how many 
prompts which it will consider how many i think number of summary of the output which will consider please check the uh, documentation once if i'm not wrong so this is first time we are initiating our conversation memory i think this part is pretty useful okay so once we do until this part this is uh, very important because we are writing the main function we can wrap it up in function as well but for the sake of simplicity i just wrote it in a, a script format so once we have this part we have to create our conversation chain because we are dealing with lang chain so create the conversation the whole code will be out there as a blog post so in case you miss the idea you can also refer to the a blog post as well so here for the first time we will be including the conversation uh, chain out here you see that's for the first time we'll include so we have included the large language model we included the conversation entity memory this is one which will remember what conversation has been about but the important part also comes what the chain of conversation is that's why we use conversation chain and here we will pass our large language model we will also pass our prompt so prompt technically we have already imported you can give your own prompt but we already imported this particular prompt called entity memory uh, conversation template you can check this uh, prompt i've discussed about the prompt in my very last sequential chain as well check it out there so we pass this part the next thing is about the memory so we also need to pass the memory which we created and since stream literal runs every time from the top to the down of the script we saved it as a particular session state so we don't get lost so that this particular memory doesn't get lost we saved it there and we are passing it back if we don't save it this particular chain will forget the context that's why it's pretty important that we store our memory in a session state variable this is one of the key part well, implementing in particular streamlit weather. Give a else loop and just throw an error or something or a warning sign. You can change uh, no password or no API found. So th that's all. Okay, that's this particular block is pretty useful because it's the first time we define our model, our conversation entity memory, and our conversation chain. That's the most critical part of the whole app. Now let's see if the app has any changes. So app says there is no API found. Pretty fair, okay? So we go to the next part of the app, which will be the regular one. How we do, we create a button and all this stuff. So I'll just copy and paste from the previous part and you will see what are the changes which I have made here. If I just pass this part, so this, the first part is more about uh, get the user input. This is the function which I've already mentioned here, get the text. So this particular part will create a uh, text input box where you say whatever you want to say out there uh, you just input it there just a one key point if you see this if, you write, if i write something here it doesn't hide the text however here it hides the text because we gave a difference in this particular text input box we are not giving this type password we are just giving a default type which is basically accepting a text so once we get the text if there is an input we run our conversation dot run we need to store them we need to dump the output and we need to dump them in a chat box instance so for doing that we need to first remember what's the input so that's why we use session state dot past and we append that to that whatever was the output we save it here we append to it because it's a dictionary based whatever was the input we append to it it's pretty simple so we just now create a expander so with xt dot expander and we just say like you know conversation doesn't matter what we say and the next part is we loop over them so for i in once we have this we are ready with the bot already okay uh, we can do a lot of other stuff so we can store our output all these stuffs can be there but at this moment we don't ch we don't care about it but in my blog post i'll be showing in details how we can download this particular chatbot's output we can also show how we can create a new conversation all this thing will be there in details in the blog post so now let's see how it works so the first thing which i need to do is i need to pass my api key so i'll just copy and paste it here you cannot see because i have used the type password we'll use the model uh, 3.5 turbo 
and you see this particular the else loop has gone away because we already have a particular password here our model is ready let's ask model a question uh, what's uh, the temperature i don't know if it will it don't give the accurate temperature what's the temperature in uh, in in canada okay I'm assuming it's really pretty cold, but yeah, let's ask. I'm pretty sure it's not, since it's not connected, it won't know what is the temperature out there. So we get an error of this value coffee. So this doesn't work, okay? So I will just leave without any icon. You can just put any emoji as you want. I'll just save it again. I'll just press the always rerun, uh, literally. I think. So it creates a conversation. As you can see, since the previous it was error, but it's already giving me the output uh, of was the template saying that it doesn't know what's the temperature okay never mind we just asked the uh, capital and i hope it will understand what do i mean by capital of which country so let's see capital of canada is order so that means it remembers the previous conversation right perfect and i will say a uh, national anthem i'm not saying precisely which country i'm expecting it to know so let's see if it gives me the national anthem of Canada. And I'm hoping that it will remember that we're speaking the country called Canada. So as you see, the national anthem of Canada is O Canada. It was already written in French. Pretty cool. I think which I've already created something which has this feature of remembering our conversation. Okay. So uh, what we can do is we can actually move this particular chat. Okay. So that's why uh, we need this particular thing called clear the conversation and or a new chat and that I have already written. I'm not explaining in this particular video tutorial, but I'll just quickly copy and paste that particular part it will be available in the blog post as well so please check it out there it's pretty straightforward you just uh, put all of them as the initial state and you also save them and we also need to put a, a particular uh, let's say a button which will help us to do that purpose okay to serve that purpose so uh, we can do it this way okay we can just add a button out here in the sidebar or we can just add a button in the top as well and here on click this is where the function of a new chat will be implemented. So whenever we click this, this particular function, which we just wrote here, it just initialized to a new context. Okay? It doesn't remember this whole stuff. So I think that's pretty crucial whenever we're doing conversation memory. And that's why I kept that particular aspect. So we just click that part, new chat. And I think that's all. We can just put type primary, just uh, darken our button. So we're just rerunning the whole stuff again. Now we have a new chat option as well uh, we can just create a new chat so once this rerunning stuff is finished so we can just press this new chat and as you see it now has a very blank one okay and now if i say capital let's see if it remembers or not that's pretty important okay i hope i mean we have cleaned the whole idea of the memory and the conversation so let's see if we go conversation, it doesn't know. Capital can refer to a few different things depending on the context. Cool. So it forgot it. Now, if I say, uh, hi, I am from, let's say, Australia. So I just write it this way. Now it will start to speak with us. Okay. And now I will ask the capital. Let's see if it can identify that I'm speaking about Australia's capital or not this is pretty cool so the capital of australia is canberra you see this is where the power of memory comes so as you can see with just very few lines of code we can build something like this a chatbot which literally remembers our context you can fill up or dump with its memory with your own data which we can also discuss in another tutorial i will be doing making that kind of videos where you do the embeddings our chatbot can interact with the own data this is pretty powerful this particular memory module which Langchain provides us so I'm pretty sure in today's era where chatbots and the AI which is booming this kind of project will be pretty useful so see you in the next video and please leave your comments your feedbacks check my blog posts check other videos and also suggest me more of your ideas see you next time cheers